today I got a very exciting video for you because it's our first area in the Rise of Iron and I am very excited for it. You're actually going to find a dormant SIVA cluster as well as a dead ghost in this location. So it is definitely worth doing if you want to get that extra grimoire points and actually grind the grimoire for the beginning of Rise of Iron as well as you can read the cards to see how SIVA came about. But anyway, how are you going to do it? You're going to start the Tenbrius Tunnels mission and you're going to want to head off to the right towards the Dust Palace instead. And you're going to want to go through this door and rush through the entire thing. Uh, and basically, you're going to want to go all the way to the Cortex. The Cortex being the area that the Scion Flayers actually spawned in uh, originally. Now, this is pretty easy, and you're going to want to just head straight through this room until you get to the end of the hallway. You're going to want to take a right to go down to this little Coliseum area where you see in the Dust Palace Strike. And quite simply, you're just going to want to keep running through. You're going to want to go all the way to where the Scion Flayers spawn and just keep on running. It's going to actually be easy for you if you don't kill any of the enemies in this area uh, for the later step of the glitch. But if you want to keep it safe, you can kill all of them but one enemy. It is essential that you keep one enemy alive so that way you can actually die later in this glitch. So you just want to run all the way through the strike, come all the way up through Overwatch into the Cortex where the actual Scion players are. And once you reach there, you have made it past the first step, well, technically second step, if you want to say spawning in on this specific mission. You're going to want to just keep on going, keep on going, until you get to the Cortex, which is right around the corner here. So once you get into this area, you're simply going to want to turn around and go back the way you came. Uh, this step was necessary for this glitch. Uh, because it actually loads in the area that you're going to want to glitch into. You're going to want to head all the way back down to that Coliseum-shaped area that we saw earlier. Once again, it's easier if you don't kill any of the enemies, but I would suggest keeping one alive if you want to run through it a little bit safer. In this video, I am just doing it for speed, and basically... I'm really damn excited to get into that room because I have not seen it yet and I'm excited to check it out with you guys and actually go exploring. So once you get down back to this room, you're quite simply going to want to jump off the edge and go over to this elevator over here. And once you get into this elevator, you're going to want to simply go into this corner right here, crouch, and then just sit here and let the enemies kill you. Now that step was necessary once again, remember, because we did in fact have to get the next area loaded in. Now as soon as you die from the enemies, you're quite simply just going to respawn, and voila, you are in the spawned area for the Rise of Iron. Now real quick, before we get into it, let's show you that SIVA cluster, which is right here. As you can see, right there. Now, I'm not going to pick that up because I actually do want to show my friends, but if you go around here, you can also see a dead ghost. I am going to pick that one up because I know where it is, but yeah, it's pretty exciting. I believe this is going to be one of the story missions in The Rise of Iron, probably going over Rasputin and trying to figure out exactly uh, what the SIVA is. And once again, that is that elevator that we saw. That's where we actually glitched in. So you're probably going to drop down the elevator, come into this room, have a normal Destiny fight where you fight all the enemies out of the room, and then quite simply, that's it. Mission's going to end, you're going to learn a little bit more about the SIVA, and the story's going to continue from there. But anyway, what can you do in here? Pretty much nothing. You can explore as much as you want. Um, there's no enemies in here, so you're not going to have to worry about them ever. But really, it's just kind of a cool little area that we have confirmed for the Rise of Iron. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty cool. You guys can look around in the area if you want to. You can uh, shoot the TV screens, do whatever you want. There are no other ghosts in this room except for the SIVA cluster, which is right up there, as well as the dead ghost, which is right in here. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been Sorry in Advance, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye bye In fact, actually, I am going to pick up this SIVA cluster because I'm excited.